so we figured out what was wrong with the Manny. And me and my buddy Scott determined, yes, it was the high pressure fuel pump that is uh, the problem why it's not starting. So I ordered a high pressure fuel pump. Let me show you guys here. Sorry, I got my tent up because um, unfortunately events happen. We lost the atmosphere over Texas. So we just getting all the sun and radiation. So I had to put this tent up. I do have my fan here, but I had to turn it off while, while I'm filming because <laughs> it'll be extremely loud. So let me show you guys that uh, high pressure fuel pump. All right, so this is the fuel pump, high pressure side, because this car has two fuel pumps. It has a low pressure and then a high pressure. So the low pressure fuel pump feeds this high pressure fuel pump. And I didn't realize how much of a delicate flower it is. She's really very delicate. All right. So that's it. I'm not going to take it out the plastic yet until I install it because I need to take off the old one, which will only take me a few seconds. All right, so I got the Mini Cooper all back together. Uh, my, I, it's, it's the shade of the tree because I had to go get Scoot Scoot. Uh, you know, gas is crazy, so I'm jumping back on that Joker because he only gets, uh, he gets, what, 50, 53 miles per gallon? So he, he's, he's pretty good at it. So uh, anyway, get back to Mini. <laughs> uh, I, I put the high pressure pump on. Uh, I put the intake and everything back on it. As you can see here, everything is it's uh, back together. So let's uh, let's give it a try and and see what happens. All right, so we're gonna give it a test run and see if I remember how to drive manual. <laughs> I haven't driven a manual car in a long time. Um, right now, the engine temperature is. 77 Celsius. Uh, I believe that's like 160 something degrees. Uh, let me see here. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so 170. So now we have one. Now we have 75 degrees Celsius. I know not to go past 92 or something like that. It says braking malfunction. I don't know what that is, and I'm trying to hold the camera in shift. <laughs> Ooh, there's a lot of lights come on. ABS, brakes, all kind of stuff. Oh boy. Uh, see if I can get it back home. Boy, she is, oh my God, she is bouncy. 
Oh my god. Alright, let me try to pull in here. Ah! Whoa, that was reverse. <laughs> Wow. So I got brakes, uh, whatever, circle, triangle, and ABS. Oh boy. All right. It's got a lot of stuff going on here. So, um, I just got to see what that is. So right now we're still sitting at 80, 80 Celsius. But I'm not sure what's, what's the other stuff. But man, the, um, the car is bouncing like crazy. Why am I so dark? All right, hold on, let me get out. There we go. I don't know. Um, I guess it needs uh, rear struts or something because it's, it's not supposed to bounce that bad. <laughs> not that bad at all. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and maybe look into that a little bit more. And I need to clean my driveway off as well because it's, it's, this car has been sitting here for a while for me cleaning it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, clean that off. Well, that was about it. So at least we got the mini running. It's 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 running. So that's that's an, a, a a big thing there. I just got to figure out all the other problems. Uh, the ABS, the it might be just something unplugged. I don't know. The ABS, the braking system. Um, what else? The, uh, yeah, it was just ABS and brakes and that triangle circle thing. I'm not sure what that is. I think that has something to do with the trans, no, transmission I think was a little gear. So, but I have to look into it. So, until then guys, till next week, I don't know if I, I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> I do have to replace the sunroof in it as well. I'll probably film that, but other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me, getting this uh, mini back together and running. And uh, we're gonna see what, what's going on there. So remember, if you guys have any input about it, why the brake light is showing, it's not showing red. It shows red when I pull up the e-brake. But when it's down, it's showing amber color. And then the, uh, the circle with the triangle, I don't know, it's like a, a circle arrow with the triangle, I, maybe starter or something, I don't know. And then I have the ABS. I have to figure out what that is. So I'm just gonna look at the codes and find out what it is. Until then, please comment, like, subscribe, send me a message, and I'll talk to you guys later.